What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel, and tonight I'll be doing a review for AW Rampage. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to it then. Um, let's go right ahead and start with the parking lot fight, which is Trent Beretta versus Chuck Taylor. This is the first match. With that said, Tony Giovanni and Nigel Beginners, welcome us on commentary to AW Rampage, and thank to those who are tuning in following the AW Collision broadcast just, uh, that just wrapped up. Giovanni sends us out to the parking lot. Where we quickly get down to our first match of the evening. Danny Magic Matt Menard joins uh, Shivani and McGinnis on special guest commentary for the parking lot uh, fight between the former B Be uh, Beast best friends tag team duo of Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor. We see the cars in a big circle in the parking lot, and Chucky e. T is waiting f on the arrival of his former uh, uh, friend turned uh, enemy. Shivani reminds us that eight on the AJ Collision Chuck asks Arnold Cassidy not to get involved no matter what happens. He also points out how Chuck and Trent were in the last two parking lot lot, uh, lot fights, but on the same team. Trent shows up, and we hear a bunch of boosts from the people surrounding the big circle of cars. The two meet in the middle of the in the middle and start slugging it out or sludging it out, whatever. Uh, Chuck takes the early offensive lead within a few minutes. We already draw in first blood as Trent is buzzed open. He is slammed on the hood of one of the cars. Trent starts to fight back moments later within moments of his of him controlling the offensive uh, offense. We see uh, Chuck is split open and bleeding now as well. Uh, with Trent taking it to uh, Chuck as the fight continues, we shoot gears into a match commercial break. When we return, we see Chuck hurl a big screen television set at Trent and bounces off his head and breaks Chuck Taylor back. Chuck back body drops uh, Trent uh, on the hood of a non car. He picks up a big board and breaks it uh, over Trent's back. He grabs a trash can and dents it over his back. Now he has a metal dust pan which he batches over Trent's dome. We hear the surrounding fans chanting, Chuck, 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 as he batches another trash he, uh, can over his former tag team partner. Chuck climbs up on on the hood of a car for a top rope spot, but get, gets Rick flared as Trent grabs him and launches him overhead. Uh, Chuck crashes and burns on the big platforms with light tubes all over it. Seconds later, however, he is... He is uh, back dominating Chuck. He bounces him off another ch car and then picks him up and power uh, bombs him through the glass windshield of the vehicle. That's real glass. Crime you, uh, effing river. Uh, just kidding. Uh, whatever. Uh, the two uh, both fight up uh, to the roof of one of the cars. Trent hits a pile driver on Chuck on the roof of the car. Moments later, he gets the win. After picking up the victory, Trent isn't satisfied with Orange Cassie. Now in the scene, we see Trent look at him after grabbing a wrench and tell him, this is your fault. He then smashes Chuck's leg into the window of a car, smashing it to bits as Chuck screams in pain. Shivani says it will be a long before we see Chuck back again. Shivani also says no one likes to see this. Just as the camera pans backstage to Don Cows watching on the monitor and clearly liking what he sees out Trent. We had to commercial break after this, uh, which is very weird. I don't know why he's, Don Cows is there watching it. So the winner is Trent Britt. All right, next match is Thunder Rosa versus Deon Perazzo. When we turn uh, from the break, Kyle O'Reilly is interviewed backstage. He talks about... AEW coming to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada on Saturday, May 11, 2024. He sends a message to the entire AEW roster for a fight of the at the show. Mega side days, we hear the familiar sounds of the theme music. Of former AEW Women's uh, World Champion Thunder Rosa. She makes her way down and sells in the ring for our next match. Getting outcome out next is her opponent. The Verda Rosa, Deanna Parazzo, the bell sounded for sure. I'm running this one. We see Rosa yell something Parazzo's face in Spanish. Rosa takes the already offensive lead, uh, but Parazzo starts to take over. The Verda Rosa ties um, Rosa's leg up in the ring and shows a vicious uh, side to her at, that the commentators point out is something unlike we've seen from her in the past. As Parazzo continues to take it to 
Rosa, the action spells out the ring and she works over the AEW Women's World Champion on the floor as we shoot gears and head to mid-match commercial break as this one continues. <sighs> when we turn from the break, uh, we see Pross who so dominate the offensive, uh, the offense or Rosa to start, uh, Rosa starts to fight back and she takes over. This doesn't last long for, uh, last for long. However, as Perazzo starts to fight back into competitive form, we see the two, uh, bow trading holes and pin attempts with Rosa eventually managing to surprise Perazzo, escaping a Viewora armbar, uh, rolling up her up for the win. After the match, Rosa talks, or uh, trash to Perazzo right up the, in the camera and gloats about beating her. She exits the ring and begs. Uh, and begins uh, heading to the back, but Parazu falls out after her uh, and attacks her from behind. She beats Rosa down and refuses to stop when the Federals rush to the scene. Rosa ends up fighting back on her own, and then and they brawl over the edge of the elevating elevated uh, staging area. Uh, security ends up breaking them up. Before anything too extreme happens, Shivani points out how we lucky not seen the last of these two after tonight. So the winner is Nona Rosa. All right, next is Big Bill versus Trevor Blackwell. We see footage of Will Osprey emerging victorious in the Casino Gauntlet uh, on AW Dynamite earlier this week uh, to earn the next uh, shot at AW International Champion Roger Strong. From there, we had. Uh, backstage from the election era standing by for the Unspeed Kingdom uh, the this must have been taped on Wednesday as an air starts off by saying as we just saw on saw earlier on AW Dynamite while talking about Osprey earning the week next week uh excuse me sorry guys uh next shot against Strong they start off by joking about Tony Khan needing to keep his head up and stayed hashtag next strong. Uh, Shang then sends a message to Osprey ahead of their AEW uh, International Championship showdown at the upcoming AEW Double or Nothing 2024 pay review. Back inside Daly's plays, the theme for Big Bill hits, and now comes the comes one half of the former AEW World Tag Team Champions. Uh, Big Bill opponent Trevor Blackwell is already in the ring. The bell sounds, uh, and off we go. We see the learning tree Chris Jericho watching on via uh, monitor backstage. Big Bill keeps the Troy Blackwell going to pin and pulling him up on the count of one count. Um, uh, uh, at the count one, I'm sorry. He keeps talking into the camera to send matches to Chris Jericho about how he wants him to teach him. Eventually, pins Blackwell for real after a big choke slam. Afterwards, he sends uh another match into. The camera, the FTW champion, showing smiley watching this on a monitor. We head to another commercial break after this wraps up. So, winner is Big Bill. All right, main event time: uh, Kishori Shibata and Darren Garcia versus Shane Taylor and Lee Morati. Main event time. We return for a break. We immediately shoot inside the day's place where we hear the familiar sounds of Kishori Shibata. The Shibata's theme hit, music hit. Music out comes the Japanese slash in his trademark black tights and black boots with the red towel around his neck he sells in the ring and his music dies down the theme for his partner uh hit uh for his partner for this tag team main event hits al collins daniel garcia the wrestler and the sports entertainer are in matching gear as garcia is wearing black uh tights and black boots and has a white towel around his neck garcia uh does his little dance on the ropes in the corner as he sells in the ring all right, Shane Taylor Promotions theme hits and next uh, out together comes the STP uh, duo Shane Taylor and Lee Morati. I think go go. Uh, Shane Taylor Promotions joins Sh- Twin Giovanni, Nacho McGinnis, and Danny Magic Maminard on special guest commentary for this two on two main event uh, here on AW Rampage. At the battle sounds, you get this one officially off and running. We see Shibata. Star Strong Garcia comes in and keeps things in his uh, team's favor, but as the two continues to control uh, the first few minutes of offense, 
against the STP duo. We see Shane Taylor spike Danny Garcia with a DDT from the ring apron to the floor at ringside. On that note, we should get into a mid-match commercial break of the of the evening. When we return, we see Taylor in the ring, uh, still controlling the action. Morati tags in and picks up where Sh- Taylor left off, taking it to Shabbat the fans in Jacksonville breakout and a Shabbat Shabbat chant. Uh, Shabbat slaps a sleeper on Moriarty while Garcia slaps a sleeper on Taylor. Uh, both STP guys start to fade. Taylor pops back up and slams Garcia first to the corner. Shabbat heads over and blasts Taylor uh, with a big kick that sends him out of the ring. He turns around and finishes off Moriarty for the pinfall victory. Shabbat and Garcia celebrate the victory in this week's main event by raising each other's hands and posing on the ropes in the car. Agogo looks at each at the commentary desk. Chavani runs down the lineup as Crane stands for next week's episode of A.W. Diamond and the Canadian Life Center in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Garcia does his low dance and exits the ring to have some fun with the crowd in Jacksonville as Chavani, uh, McGinnis, and Menard wrap things up. We head off the air. Thank you for joining us on this stuff. So winners are Kishori Chavani and Dan Garcia. All right, that was a good show tonight, also, and all that stuff. And um, pretty sure my AW Collision's uploading still. I don't know, but anyways, um, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoy it tonight. If not, uh, like, subscribe, favorite, and all that stuff. Uh, hit that bell button, leave a comment or whatever. Um, if you don't, I don't care what you do. But anyways, that was it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later's.